and welcome to another video. So this is gonna be a big announcement, well not really big, but exciting for me at least. Uh, Bedrock Craft Season 1.5. Um, basically the reason why this is 1.5 is because um, what I want to do is each major season is gonna be fairly, you know, the s standard kind of uh, SMP, just like, you know, uh, just very standard. But uh, in between each proper season, uh, we're going to be doing a, a smaller 0.5 season, which will have a gimmick. Now, um, you will be able to, able to vote on the gimmick of each uh, mini season or half season or what, however you want to refer it to. Um, in the official Bedrock Craft Discord, which there will be a link in the description of this video. Um, so let me just go over now what the gimmicks you will be able to vote for in the Discord will be. So I've got them all noted down in here. Let me just... There we go. So, first one, IBX Toy Cats Ultra Flat Survival Map. So, this will be, you know, uh, just everybody playing on the uh, on IBX Ultra Flat Survival Map, and there will be unique rules for this this one. Uh, Ultra Flat Survival have rules where you can claim a biome. And you can have people join your biome, but you cannot take anything from other biomes that claimed or not to encourage trading between the different biomes. And he, and there's like different biomes with like different resources. So one has it. There's one with a village, and it, uh, uh, so like if you claim the one with the village, you'd have like all of the villagers trade, so you could sell them for stuff you don't have from other biomes. Um, also. Um, off the edge of the world is basically anarchy with no rules. While you are there, you can do anything you want. Uh, the rule or ruler of each biome or claimant can have custom rules that only apply to their biome. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think those will make um, it, uh, you know... Uh, fairly uh, interesting and unique. Um, I'll probably, I might do a video like showing off um, the world and the ideas that I, and, you know, exactly how this would work in a short video um, and then post that to the Discord, I don't know. Uh, the second one is Hardcore. Now this also does have a custom rule. For the hardcore setup, I was uh, thinking it was like having a box of bedrock um, where people would spawn in and then um, they could go into spectator mode um, with a button and then uh, back into survival mode and then, uh, and then when they uh, want to play, I can, me or another moderator can put them into survival mode and put them into the world and then if they die they get, they just, you know, respawn back in the, um, bedrock box, um, and with, uh, you know, they, they can, um, uh, spectate the world. Yeah, so I'm a little bit tired today, because it's a bit, it's early in the morning and it's still a bit dark. Um, you know, I can spectate the world and then um, if they want to join back into the world, uh, what I'll do is I'll block off all their old stuff with barrier blocks so they can't just like go back to their base and get all the stuff they had before. They, ha they still have to start again anew and they can't like continue on with their old base because it's going to be blocked off with barrier blocks um, and I think that'll be cool because then you'll have like multiple people's bases blocked off with barrier blocks and it also like extends the lifetime of the realm um, 
Then there's Eternal Night, which, yeah, is pretty much what it says, what it does what it says on the thing. It's always going to be night. Um, then there's everyone that uh, starts in the Never and has to escape, which I think is probably um, one of the most difficult ones because it is possible to start in the Never and escape the Never. Um, so basically what you, and it's probably one of the most difficult ones, so basically what you have to do is you have to get um, a flint and steel from the uh, fortress chests and then find a ruined portal, hope the chests in them have it, have enough um, No, you can also get a flint and steel from them or a fire charge um, and then construct yourself a portal um, you can even use one of the ruined portals to uh, get your most of the way done. You can also find diamonds in the um, fortress chests, if I remember correctly, which means you can um, get a diamond pickaxe to mine up obsidian from the ruined portals. Um, and the, lastly, it's everyone only has one half of a heart. So, yeah, no matter what you do, you're always going to have half a heart. Um, and, yeah, simple as. Um, now, it's probably going to make the game extremely difficult because you take any form of damage and you're dead. Um, which basically makes armor completely pointless because um, I believe the minimum damage is half a heart. Well, actually... If you punch someone in diamond armor, it is possible to do zero damage, but then you punch him again and you're going to do... Like, it's a 50-50 chance of doing zero to half a heart, I believe. Um, but seeing as that how there's no mob that only does... That can do that little damage, except for, like, probably silverfish, you're probably just going to be using the shield a lot of the time. So, yeah, um, I will be putting this as a poll in the Bedrock Craft uh, Discord, um, and uh, you will all be able to vote on which one you want to see for this mini-season, um, and I will also be voting on which one I want to see, because I do have a personal favourite. Um, so yeah, like I said, link will be down in the description below, and that this poll will be going, uh, going for this entire week. So it'll be go so today is Monday the twelfth. It'll be going on from today till Sunday the eighteenth, and then on the nineteenth, you know that's when the realm will start up. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys all uh, will enjoy that. Uh, and I will see you in the next video or live stream or whatever I decide to do and bye bye